Of course, if you have any idea, you have any uh, idea that you might not be well, you have to consult with a, a good physician to be able to determine what's wrong with you. Remember, you know, this acute care and chronic care is two different things. If somebody has acute care, plenty of people come to see me, I see they have an acute condition, I'll send them to the right type of a doctor. I'm not one of these people that thinks that because of what nature tells them that somebody could be in an acute situation that could be life-threatening, you're going to drink a glass of juice and eat an apple and you're not taking a chance. Chron chronic care is a totally different story. If you know what you're doing and you have the right guidance or, you know, you have confidence in what you're doing, you know, uh, lifestyle changes in chronic, chronic conditions is really a very, it has dramatic impact as, we, as uh, I've seen over the years. So, Fred, you're talking about breathing and this, and this upper, uh, upper GI and the breathing of the cells. Now, a lot of exercise stuff that I've read basically always talks about the real edge is your VO2 compared with your lactic acid buildup in the body. So, yeah, oxygen uptake, right, exactly. A, a, a highly trained athlete is able to utilize oxygen more efficiently than somebody who's all clogged up. So when you've got a lot of lactic acid, you're already true that VO2 uptake. In other words, you're pretty well on the other side of the mountain here. In other words, you're, you're producing more uh, waste gases, lactic acid, and you're getting into, you know, I've seen that in long distance where towards the end of the race, you start to get tight, you know, because your body is not getting rid of the lactic acid and the waste gases, but the more efficient the person is, the more they're able to, their, their oxygen uptake, their VO, the, the way they handle their oxygen, that's why some of these people, are, you take a, a world-class marathon and run through the New York City Marathon in, you know, two hours and nine minutes, that guy is, I mean, he's an oxygen breathing machine is what that, that guy is. And you take a person that's eating a terrible diet, not trained, he probably couldn't even walk that far without cramping up. So we have science is very, very, very important. And if you're on if you're on the upside of that mountain and you're getting better and better, when you get to the peak of the mountain, you gotta be careful you don't go down the other side because you'll have the same symptom as you will have on the upside of that mountain. You'll have the same thing. That's why a lot of people get into a very good diet. They're really doing very, very well. They have some distraction come in their life, they fall off their diet, or well, who knows what they think they're doing, and all of a sudden, they right where they, they're worse off than when they started because the body does not have the time to adjust to the downside. And that's where people run into a lot of trouble. They go back and forth, back and forth, and they run into problems. If you, you know, you gotta make sure that you're sticking within the parameters of your lifestyle, whatever level you choose, you know, you, it's, if you do this right, and you know, what I say, if you do this right, I'm not being dogmatic. What's right for one person might not be right for another person. So anybody that hits you with some, some kind of dogma that you have to do everything exactly the way they did it, you better run the other way because that's not, you know, that's, you're not, we're not cloning people here. We're, help, we're helping people make choices so they can do the best they can, what they got to work with, with their, and within their lifestyle. Everybody can't do what, you know, what some people think is perfect. Well, I have a little news for those people. There is nothing that is perfect out there no more. Nothing in the world that we're living in. 